And finally, let's check out some Mr. Do. The third game in the uh, Atari uh, 8-bit high score challenge. Um, let's make sure that everything looks okay. Yep. Press S to change background. That's kind of neat. So everyone knows that Mr. Do is a title that Aaron and I both share a mutual admiration for. Um, oh shoot, I let the ball go in the wrong way. <laughs> and I think I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. I didn't play Mr. Do forever. Uh, I one day I was sitting at home bored. This is when I was a kid, and uh, you know all the games that I had loaded off loaders, and so you'd put the you put in the disc and you'd get basically a, a homemade screen that would say press one to play Joust, press two to play Blue Max, etc. And um, and. And so that's that's what I did. But then when I got older and I started figuring out how to launch into DOS, I started exploring the contents of these uh, these discs more. And um, and lo and behold, uh, Mr. Do was uh, hidden on one of these discs. It was Mr. Do.exe, and I was like, well, what's that? And then I launched it, and I was like, holy cow! This is like one of the greatest gaming discoveries of my life. It was so much fun. And ever since then, I'm really causing some slowdown here. There's a lot of a lot of guys on screen. Oh, okay. Well, I was just born in '81, Joss. So you're a year older than I am. And Pix is right there with us among the young the young crowd. Oh boy. There's a way that you can do this where you, it's like you position the apple in such a way that it, it kills a ton of enemies all the time. I'm more of a wild and free do player. What is that thing in the center there? It's a wacky looking thing. Let's see if I can score my extra Mr. Do here. Oh, okay. Interesting. I know that in Eastern Europe, you know, the um, the the Atari 8-bit systems were huge. Huge. Love this cutscene. Mr. Dude's got wings for some reason. Yeah, it could be by the time that you were sort of around and, and cognizant of the scene, the Atari 8-bit had gone by the wayside. If it wasn't for my dad picking one of these up secondhand, uh, in like 80, 86 probably, um, then I would have never known about the Ataris because none of my kid, none of my friends had Atari computers. It was totally foreign. I hear you. I hear you, Jost. Hey, Wing Chun. What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh! This gave away a life there. Oh, yeah. Mr. Dude's great. This is a great port, too. Thanks for the follow, DMX87. Ugh, oh, yeah. I really don't have a strategy when it comes to this game. It's just chaos. Thank you. 
Hey, Delamort. Welcome, welcome. Getting ready to play some ZX Spectrum. Just a minute. What are you up to today, Delamort? Hope you, you've all enjoyed your Saturday. I took my students to the State Jazz Band Festival. It was, it was a good experience. We didn't do as well as I would have liked, but that's the way it goes. Uh, but uh, it's a learning experience for the kids. Uh, Mega ST4. I don't even know what that means, Delamort. Is that one of the late model uh, STs? So it looks like 25,700 is going to be my due score. Oh, okay. Tim Ferriss, that is the that is the four hour work week guy DMX eighty seven. I do 